please subscribe. Hello, my friends. Today I am going to make just a very simple flower, bloom flower. Um, just a white flower and with a really pretty background. I am going to use um, for the background this little piggy and it's going to be tail feather and I'm just going to be using my um, crafts and craft cast and craft for the uh, white that's it nothing else I'm not gonna do anything major um, but I'm really excited I want to see I feel like the blue background with it being summertime it's just gonna make it pop so I am going to get my Let's Risen uh, mixed up and we'll be back. Okay, so I have my Let's Resin already mixed up. It's about five ounces. I also let it sit. It's about 102 deg Fahrenheit degrees right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour into my mold. And then I'm also going to pour into here. I'm going to try to do my flower a little bit differently than I usually do. We'll see if it works out. I'm not going to need that much, but I also don't want to fill my mold up all the way. You want it to be shallow. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my casting craft. Always make sure you're wearing gloves. I am a professional. I've done this many times. So um, I am good, but, um, and I'm also not even touching the resin. Um, but uh, for those who are not experienced with it, make sure you wear gloves and if needed, also mask. I do use Let's Resin, which is non-toxic but there are many people who have reactions. So I wanna make sure that you guys are educated. Okay. I may do one more drop. So that was a total of five drops, or no, four or five drops, I can't remember. Who knows? I've been obsessed with paddle boarding lately. If anyone goes paddle boarding, I do not go in the ocean. There's way too many sharks. I stick to the lakes and rivers. But um, yeah, it's my new obsession. So that's perfect. It looks very milky. And that's what you're wanting. So the way I'm gonna do this is and i've never done this before but i'm going to stick my stick in and do this i'm going to draw it in if i can manage to do this And this is a very new technique I've never done before. No idea how it's gonna come out. I'm trying to keep it in the middle, but it keeps going off to the side a little bit. And if you make a mistake like I am, just try to make it work, you know? It's 
it's much harder than what it looks. Okay, I think we're going to leave it as that. I don't, ex again, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. As you can tell, I have tons of leftover. Um, but I like to have leftovers in case I need more. So I think we're going to good. We're going to leave it as is. Um, because I'm doing a blue background, I would like to use, I have all kinds of little in here. So I'm going to try to use this. I just had another idea of what I wanted to do. Okay. Okay, we're just going to leave it as is and see how it works out. Um, enjoy the time lapse. Hello, we are back. So I have already whipped up six ounces, three and three of the one to one Lutz resin, along with uh, this little piggy, and that is the tail feather um, mica powder. And I have fully mixed this very well. You really want to make sure your mica powder is, is mixed in um, just because it is very fine powder and you want to make sure it all blends in and, and um, gets mixed okay so we're gonna go ahead and pour this that so we can do a little bit more so the mold I'm using is from Julie at pouring your heart out she has an eBay store and this specific um, mold I have found can hold up to 11 ounces um, so I used five ounces for my first layer and then six ounces for the second and it literally goes all the way to the um, edges without spilling. And now I'm just going to make sure. Perfect. bubbles and we're just gonna let it do its thing uh, once it's completely cured we'll then go ahead and uh, deep mold and if you see little areas where it looks like it could fill in you could just use a little q-tip like I have and Make sure it's level as well. You want to make sure it's level. I am using my heat mat for the very end. So anytime you use a heat mat, I have found um, I the first couple hours, especially on layer one, I will not use the heat mat. And then I will turn it on for the very ending part to get it to um, cure faster because you don't want to ruin the design. For the second layer, um, there's no design. So I'm not really worried about it. So 
I'm using my heat mat from the very beginning, which is totally fine. And then we'll demold when we are done. Um, and I will have my heat mat also in the description if you're interested. Uh, what I love about the heat mat is it's made out of glass. So it's not these, not the plastic ones that warp. So you don't have to worry about it warping. But, um, but yeah, we will go ahead and just let this cure. And we'll see you back at the end. Hello, so we are back. I am going to demold because I am very excited. It has been a while. It looks like the, this, the edges will have to be trimmed down, which is totally fine. That takes very easy. Okay. And voila. Wow. That's very pretty. Hmm. That is very, very pretty. So definitely could probably go with 10 ounces instead of that because the edges and the white. I could have done a little bit more. But wow, that's gorgeous. Ah, ah, I'm in love. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I could definitely have done thicker white or something there. But wow, I cannot wait to make a few more of these. Oh my God. Okay. I'm loving this flower technique. I just need to be a little bit more, it's so faint, but wow, look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, let me know what you guys think. Definitely have to sand it. Tons of little, uh, little dots. So I'm gonna have to sand it down to do a top coat, but wow, wow, wow. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Wow, it gets, you can see the petals even more towards the side. Definitely got to do darker though. Look at that. Oh, oh my God, it's so pretty. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try it again, but darker. Okay, thanks for watching.